Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this true length, see this length, and we rotate. Then what we'll get? Development of a cone. See how will you get? Theta is equal to 180 into d by l. 180 into d. D is diameter 50, and l is slant length, right? This length 56. So whenever you have a cone, you don't take axis. You take slant length into account for development of a cone. So angle is coming 161. So you take one line 56 straight, you rotate and you take angle 161. Then you divide this into 12 parts. You can divide into 8 parts also. It's up to you. So when you cut like this, how many points you will get? Whatever points you get, you project on the true length. See this point PG dash. PF dash, PH dash, PE dash, PI dash, all those points you project on the extreme edge. Take this distance, cut here. Take this distance, cut here. Mark all this distance on true length first. See. Always remember, take the distance to the true length and then you rotate. From O, you rotate all this. So you'll get something like this. Then you have to mark. Now see, this is point PG, so it will be on G. The next one is PF, PH. This is PB, sorry, PC and PK. So that we need to see. So PC will come here. And PK will come up. So it's here, right? C is here on C. And on K you will get PK. Then this one. The middle one. D and J. Naming is important. It will help you. Sorry, it's here. D. J. Then we have E and I. This is P E P I. Then F and H. P F and P I. So we'll get this much. We can join this with freehand. It is not necessary it will come like this because mine is freehand. Now we need to mark this point. This is PU PV. PU dash PV dash. Which is cutting at the base. Now from front view we can't take. So then we'll take from top view. We'll take B to PU. Or C to PU. Whatever you want. Take B to PU. And from B you cut. Then take this, this distance, yeah, and you cut here. This is how you'll get. So this is development. So I hope you people have understood this. Thank you.